Welcome back, everyone, to episode three of Suncorp Super Netball's Fantasy Netball Draft. Sue Gordian here, and I have some of the best legends of the game joining me. Lizzie Legs Alice. G'day, Liz. Oh, Gordy, how good to see your happy, smiling face again. That's nice. All the way over here in Perth, we still smile. Uh, Catherine Cox, <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. Morning, afternoon, whatever day it is. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to COVID. Uh, Laura Geitz, all well with you, my friend? Uh, all good over here, Gordy. Living the dream. Terrific stuff. And Shani, no need to ask you. I can already hear you. Yeah. Sorry, what was that, Gordy? I'm just looking through uh, all my old newspaper <laughs> articles from oh, uh, my Lord. when I won the premiership in 2010. Um, don't know if this is uh, Ash Brazzle here, which is very pretty with her when she had her short hair. And uh, and this is me and my old teammate, Jeeva Mentor. But it's actually our 10th uh, anniversary from when we won this premiership. So I'm just being busy reminiscing. Sorry, but I'm bad. Very excited <laughs> about my current team. Well, the Shani, band... did you make up those scrapbooks yourself or did you make them do them? Uh, well, I collected the material and she spent about two years putting them together. She just <laughs> had a few articles. The bad news for you, Shani Lake, is while you've been admiring yourself, everybody else in our team has been thinking about who their final three picks will be going into today's Draft. So if you're joining us for the first time, we already have had two episodes and we'd love you to go back and have a look at those. You can catch them on all the nine netball social media sites. But we do have a process in which each of, the, each of our coaches here get to select one pick per round. And we've already gone through five rounds so far. We are now down to our final two selections to make the starting seven. And then there will be one final selection for each of our coaches to make to round out a bench player in the team. And don't forget, there are rolling subs. So that could be a crucial selection by each of our coaches. The four teams in play today, we've got Shani's Slayers, Coxie's Crushers, Geitz's Grunters, and Lizzie's Lockdown Legends. Uh, so the way this works, if you really are only joining us for the first time, any of the players in Suncourt Super Netball can be selected. That means all 80 contracted players, all our injured players are back in. It's just about trying to put combinations together from any team to make the best possible team you can. So with no further ado, let's have a quick recap at where the teams are so far. We're gonna start off with Shani's Slayers. Shani, in goal shooter, you've got Sam Wallace. At goal attack, Tegan Phillip. At wing attack, Laura Sherian from the Lightning. You're still looking for a centre in today's draft. You've picked up Ash Brazzle at wing defence, even though we know she's out with an ACL, but our rules allow her in. At goal defence, we'll wait and see what happens today. And the big name from the Adelaide Thunderbirds in Shamira Sterling at goalkeeper. Shani. I'm just so happy, Gordy. I just think I've got my two bookends and, and everyone in between. And I think I've got the team that will make the dream work. So they're just going to really mould together well. <laughs> don't, don't judge my sayings. Is that, from, <laughs> is that from another book on your shelf of coaches' sayings? Uh, motivation 101. I think I've actually got Nathan Buckley and Mick Malthouse over there. So uh, I got one out of their book. So... But no, very happy, very confident. Um, a little bit nervous heading into the last round today. But I have one request for this last round. Laura, guys, I believe yes. that you should have to grunt before you have <laughs> a big time due to your Laura grunters. So listen, yeah. listen, I'll cut you a deal. If I get the players I want in that wing attack and wing defence position, I'll grunt as much as you want me to grunt. Oh, no, it is, is on. <laughs> Actually, can I just, can I, I'm just sitting here actually <laughs> admiring change of subject um, where I'm actually sitting. And I just realised, if you can see over my right shoulder, Mark's jerseys are uh, framed and on the wall. And if I just uh, let you, yeah, we'll have a little look there. Can you see that there? Yeah. yeah. Then let's just take a look at my side of the wall. Can you see anything there? Yeah, that's there? not good. No. Oh, there you are. Where's the dresses at? Crickets. Crickets. Exactly. This is what I've just realised, is that I need to get my act together. Or that yeah. your husband is actually full of himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't want to say it, Coxie, but thank you. <laughs> well, if you don't think my, like my husband, he's got to get his glory where he can find it, Guysy. So, you know. 
All right. Uh, moving on. I'm going to stay with uh, Geitz's grunters, considering we've just headed up. You're looking for a wing attack and wing defence, Laura, but so far you've taken from the Giants, Joe Hart, and you've placed her in goal shooter. Steph Wood from the Lightning at goal attack. You've got Langman, the machine, in centre. At goal defence, also from the Sunshine Coast Lightning, none other than the best goal defence in the league, Carla Pretorius. And then you've chosen the up-and-coming goalkeeper in Sarah Clough. Geitzy's grunters, in my opinion, out in front at the moment. Thanks, Scotty. Thank you. I've actually got sweaty palms taking me back to the old days on on my next pick. So I just really appreciate if we could uh, speed the process up because I'm so I want to know what's what's tracking through our friend uh, our friend's head in Byron Bay down there. Well, we can go down to Byron Bay. Well, just sort of. Are you just north of Byron Bay? I'm sort of west between Byron Bay and Lismore. That's how much I love myself. I moved to somewhere called Lismore. Oh, that's right. The, oh. cheaper, the, cheaper, the cheaper area, wasn't it? The cheaper area. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm a netball player, remember? <laughs> that's a good point, Liz. Good comeback. <laughs> Lizzie's lockdown legends. Liz, you're still looking for a goal shooter and a centre in today's draft. You've taken Gretel Buetta knee tip it at goal attack and you've linked her with Lizzie Watson from the Vixens, the feeding machine there. In centre, you've chosen Jamie Lee Price from the Giants. And then you're headed to the Vixens to find Joe Weston. And then you finalise that with the Magpies goalkeeper in Jeeva Mentor. Are you happy so far? I am pumped because there are still a number of awesome shooters left who haven't been picked up. I've got a couple of wing defenders up my sleeve. But look at that midcourt. Boyster, Watson, Jamie Lee Price. Defensively, they're great. Boyster and Jamie Lee Price are going to pick you up plenty of ball in attack. Uh, they can't be beaten. And I love my little combination in defence, Western and Mentor. So I'm very, very happy with my team. Liz, well, you're going, Sean? Are your pockets deep enough to afford this team, Liz? <laughs> I live near Nimbin, dude. And I'm oh. an agricultural supplier. I got so Fair much enough. <laughs> enough <said. laughs> Thank goodness there is no salary cap on our fantasy netball draft. We'll go to Coxie's Crushers. Kathy, you've been sitting there patiently listening to all of the banter going back and forth between the other three. I think you're sitting quite comfortable at the moment. You've taken goal shooter Janelle Fowler. She could win the game alone for you. But you've lined her up alongside Helen Housby at goal attack. Wing attack Maddie Proud, who was having a stellar season prior to injury, but courtesy of our draft, mm. she's back in her best form. Uh, in centre, Kate Maloney. At wing defence, you've picked up Queensland Firebirds, Gabby Simpson, and you've left the back end, which we know may not always have been your strength, but we'll need to... <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> That's no problems. Uh, you'll need to find a couple of big defenders in today's draft. Well, yes and no. You all know you can win a game without defenders. The shooters have got to get the points on the board for you, <laughs> don't they? So I'm not overly fussed about the defence end, but there are some good ones I've got my eye on. Nobody steal them. And having said that, everybody let Laura Geitz get her players so I can hear her grunt. <laughs> yeah. oh. It's a win-win for me either way, isn't it? I either get my girl or I don't and uh, I don't have to grunt. <laughs> Well, uh, well, let's see. Let's not uh, hold everyone's anticipation off any further. We're going to head straight in to our final three rounds. That'll be round six, round seven for our final two players of the starting seven. And then our final round to wrap up episode three, round eight. And that will be our bench player. So let's go. The selection order. It does start with you, Liz Ellis. Uh, it'll move then on to Laura Geitz, Kath Cox, and then on to Shani Lake. We're into round six. It'll be pick number 21, Liz Ellis. Well, I've just got a goal shooter and wing defence position to fill, but everyone else has chosen their goal shooters and goal attacks. So I'm going to play a little bit of chess here and leave my goal shooter for the last. Uh, and then I'm going to go with the wing defence because I know Geitz is out looking for a wing defence. As much as I'd like to hear her grunt again, uh, I think that I'm probably going to pop her bubble a little bit here um. and I'm going to take as wing defence from the Giants. Oh, you got me. You... Who was it? Yep. Amy oh, Palmer. Oh, I've been sitting on that for so long. Just like, hurry up. Let's get this show moving because I just want to lock that girl in. And no, you... you've had five picks and you didn't lock her in. So, you know. Oh. 
Look, on the plus side, I'm not, I don't have to grunt for you, but that is just so disappointing. Yeah, but look, we've just heard oh. you squeal, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, did, uh, so did North America. It was like, wow. oh. <laughs> so, so lock in from the Giants. I think she's one of the biggest talents. She's going to have a massive year. Yeah. Uh, we saw she picked up. She was the best performing defender for winning ball back. And we need that to happen. I love my defensive midcourt. So I'm going to go Amy Palmer from the Giants in that midcourt. So the Palmy Army heads to Liz Ellis's Lizzie's Lockdown Legends. Liz, a very big call for you. You're now going to have to sit and wait, Liz, to take the very last of the picks in round seven for, to, to wrap out your starting seven. However, what we now do is move to pick 22 and we're heading over to you, Laura, Laura with an absolute broken heart. <laughs> oh, that's, that's just really throwing a spanner, I must say. Now, mm. You're looking um, fairly confident before that, oh, guys. See, and now all I see look, is a woman deflated. I am very deflated. The only plus side is that Langman is essentially the best wing defence in the world. So if I get really stuck, I can just sub her out, which makes me think I need to go and with just a player... One, just one moment, Laura. I, I, I just want to say a shout out to whichever player Laura does pick here, given the fact that she's just <laughs> put Army Par Amy Carmen <laughs> up on a platform and she looks like she's going down to the doldrums to pick this mm. next one. We do have a mental health line if, if required. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, look, I, I'm, I'm really the, like thinking on my feet here, but I'm actually, I'm going to go... I'm going to go with a brown player. Ooh. And Ooh which one? Yeah, well, that's, that's what I'm asking myself. Um, nice. Given both coming back from, from knees, um, I'm going Maddie Brown in the Ooh. wing attack position. Ooh. Ooh. Can, I, can I beg the question over why you've chosen Maddie over Kelsey? Yeah, good question, Gordy. I maybe, look, played with Mads. Um, I just think that she is, is one of the, well, yeah, she is one of the smartest wing attacks that the game's ever seen. So can you just let me paint you the picture here? Maddie with a Stephanie Wood alongside a Harton. That's a pretty formidable forward line, can I just say? It is. It, it, yeah. Well, it's formidable, and then you put Laura Langman in there who just runs everywhere. I'm, I'm worried that it might get a bit messy. Mm. I did worry that. I did worry that, but that is when I can just sub Langman back to wing defence <laughs> and leave her there. <laughs> and then, you know, my other wing defence player could, well, who could it be? Well, who could it be? And you're going to have to sit and wait, everyone, because we've still got our round six final two picks to get through. We head to you now, Catherine Cox, at pick number 23, and you have two defenders to place in your side. Ooh. Okay, I'm trying to get excited about this. I really can't. But, ah, don't you know what? Know what? I'm going to defenders. I am going to go with one of the best in the business who is still available and wins plenty of ball back and loves a bit of the showtime and plays goalkeeper for the West Coast Fever because that ball that we want back that you all carry on about wins games, la, la, la. Courtney Bruce. Oh, green bookends, oh. Catherine. Mm. Oh, I like right. it. Yep, the two big guns from the West Coast Fever, Courtney Bruce. So that now takes us down to pick number 24, Sharni Layton. Nice. Now, let's just remind everyone... Shani Slayers still has a centre and a goal defence to be selected. I'm pumped. I've been sitting here sweating bullets. I'm not going to show you my pits right now because those sweat marks <laughs> are did. huge. Look at it as I'm sweating. That's how much I was stressing over this team. I actually can't believe this player hasn't been picked up yet, especially in the midcourt. She has completely gone under the radar Thank Lordy, um, because once again, you need players that know how to win. And this girl also, Liz Alice, is a part of your New South Wales yeah. team. 
She knows how to win a premiership. I've played beside her. I know how hardworking she is. I know that she can get a team together. I know that she works so well with a wing attack and can really open up that space. She knows how to feed my goal shooter because they play together. I am taking World Cup winning legend Paige Hadley in my season. Oh, well played. What's she do still doing hanging around? That's no, what I said. Around. I was like, surely someone's going to get her. I no have my own her. Hat, but nowhere to put her. Yeah, so yeah. Paige Hadley, you are on my team. Well done. I wouldn't want anyone else in that centre position, girlfriend. Yep. Extraordinary pickup from you, Shani Layton. Here's the good news for you. We're at the end of round six. We now move into round second, seven, our second last round. But because of the way this works, you get to pick number 25, which will round out your starting seven. It is a goal defence. It is a goal defence position. And this is someone I've also had an eye on, but I was leaving her until last. Um, I think you'll be fine, Coxie. I don't know who you've got an eye on. But because I've got an inside eye down at the Collingwood Magpies. Ooh. Yeah, and she mm. is a teammate of Shamira Sterling. Look, she's new on the scene. She hasn't played in this competition before, but she is going to be an extremely good player. She's a bit green at the moment, but do you know what? I was green from 2010 until I left in 2018. So <laughs> there is nothing <laughs> wrong with a green player. Um, and I am taking on Jodie M. Ward, the new Jamaican oh. to the Collingwood Magpies. Oh, I so thought that you were going to um, go with Matilda Garrett then. Oh, did you? No. Yeah, I, I think mean. she's a bit of a gun. Yeah, she is absolutely a gun. But um, I think Matilda will fit in in and around. But I just think Jodie Ann, having seen her at all of the training sessions, she just brings that Jamaican pizzazz that you just cannot get anywhere else in the world. Those really long mm. arms. Her and Shamira have played together. Um, I still have that player that I'm going to need to come on if need be. And we all know I'm a sucker for the Collingwood Magpies. So, you know, that's not right off uh, Tilly Garrett just yet. But Jodie Ann Ward, I'm really excited to see what she's going to bring this year. Out of mm. the field for you, Shani Layton. You have now got your seven in place with just one pick to go for you in round eight, which will be your bench player. So we move on now uh, to our next pick and that will be to you Catherine Cox at pick 26. Well Shiny Layton I'm also after a goal defence and I'm happy for you to take green if green means I'm going to get an intercept and throw it straight back again. You can have that. I'm going to go with one of the young guns new debutant to the Diamonds last year. Won a premiership in brilliant form and a youngster so she can be my team forever. That is the goal defence for the Swifts in Maddie Turner. Oh, good call. Very good call. Mm -hmm. Really good call. That'll have her I mean, It's almost as if you half know what you're talking about. Uh, half. 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 That's almost. a nice credit. <laughs> Liz, have you been texting Coxie on the side? She's <laughs> surely not. Not about netball, I can assure you. Yeah, here we have, but not about this discussion. <laughs> Terrific stuff, Catherine Cox. Coxie's crushes definitely taking shape. One more for you to go. You'll have to just pause for a moment. We're going to head up to Laura Geitz in Queensland. It is pick 27 for you, Geitz's grunters. One position left to go. It is a wing defence. Laura Geitz, who are you going with? I'm still licking my wounds. This is really like just... <laughs> This is just that one pick from Liz. I hate to harp on about it, but it's really just turned my whole team around. And you're all going to you think I'm crazy with this next choice. But, um, and she's not a traditional wing defence, but I just, I think she's very athletic. I know she is coming back from injury, um, but I really like her as a player. And I think um, long arms. I'm actually going to go with Layla Guscoth from the Adelaide Sunbirds. Oh, great. Oh, nice. Hopefully she stays safe and then gets back here and she's able to play. I mean, once she hears that she's on your team, Dykesy, she'll fight that COVID harder than ever. Yeah. That, exactly. that, is, that is an extraordinary pick. It reminds me of a, one of our actual panel uh, coaches here in Shani Layton, who got Rookie of the Year in her first year down at the Adelaide Thunderbirds as a wing defence. Look, 
Thanks oh, Sean, talking from experience, what what do you reckon Gus Goth's ideas of uh, me putting her in wing defence? If you had to, if you had to say, what would she be feeling right now? I think that she would be so excited just to be a part of your grunting team, Gus. Oh, I just thanks. think to be able to get picked up. And do you know what? I loved wing defence. I actually wish I had have stayed there because wing defences have no idea how easy they have it not running in the circle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Honestly, I loved it. I stood, more meters. Oh. I stood you know? on that. Oh, as if you didn't love playing wing attack if you could have Coxie. Standing on that circle edge and just watching that ball go in and that's having a five second breather for this long lanky chick, that meant the world to me. Shani, I, I, I dare you to say that to Simone McInnes' face and live to tell the tale. <laughs> go I on. did. I won't. I Can won't. I tell just... mine. Can I just say, while I'm sitting here and while I was thinking about who to put in that wing defence position, there was just one player who's obviously not available that would have just, like, she would have taken the grunners to not just the best, but, like, out of reach for you all. Who do you reckon it would have been to combine in that wing defence centre position? Who can't play or has taken... She's not, a, she's not available. She's just retired, but she's freshly retired. Kim. No. Renee Ingalls. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 Poor Renee. Wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't, wouldn't she have just rounded out that perfectly? I reckon you should give her a call to be a grunt and she may well come out of retirement. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, she's, she's, she's got to still keep herself for the next few years and netball salary would be real handy for her, wouldn't it? <laughs> sorry, sorry, Joe. Renee, Joe, she needs to keep her family Joe, afloat. Joe. Absolutely. Oh, Joe, how are you going? Renee available? How much? Oh, God, no, sorry. Can't help. <laughs> Way too expensive, I'm telling you. Way too expensive to come back, Laura Geitz. But uh, a terrific selection for mm. you. So, Lizzie, we head to you for the final pick of the starting seven. I am intrigued. You've sat back on your goal shooter position. You've been patient. Has it worked out for you? Yeah, well, the goal shooter's not that important, right? So, I mean, you just got to get the ball to her. And there's some pretty good goal shooters who will just stand under the bucket. And I think Sweater and Watson the and bucket. Jamie Lee Price are good enough to do it. I don't know. What do you do with it, Catherine? So, look, there's a couple that have been sort of left on the shelf uh, who are, well, world-class. Uh, you know, we've got Caitlin Thwaites, Maui Kawenda, Romelda Aitken, Caitlin Bassett. So many great goal shooters to choose from. I've got it down to between Caitlin Thwaites and Sophie Garbin. So Geitzy mentioned her before. I reckon Sophie Garbin, I'll, I'm leaning towards her because I need, like I've picked Jamie Lee Price, Price and Centre to stay out of the way. I need someone who will work in with Gretel Boita. I don't want a goal shooter who's going to stand there and say, give me the ball. I want Gretel Boita to actually uh, be the superstar. So I think, oh, I mean, I love, I love Caitlin Thwaites. But do I go? I don't know. But can't you remember nice? the Swift days, Liz? Where and I'm going Team Thwaity here. Well, you know when yeah. she worked in with Susan Pettit and they oh, scored the even true. the whole Aussie. season. What are you doing, goes. Shani? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, Sophie Garland could be a uh, a reserve. Gordy, I've got a question for you. Is it possible to trade? Because Liz, you can have heart, and if I get Parmenta. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Let's let's just hold off on the trades for the moment. I'll okay. I'll, I'll consider it. I, I'll give you my BSB number in a minute. Um, <laughs> but Lizzie, but I do need to choose one, don't I? I, you're all, I reckon to... you're onto it, Liz Ellis, with what you, your last comment was. I reckon you've got two here. Yeah. It's so true. you're gonna have to make a decision, Liz. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, Caitlin Fates. Shani's oh. Shani sort of rocked me towards Caitlin. But up. then, well done. yeah, I've gone, I've gone, Caitlin. But I don't know that I really. I mean, I love, I love Sophie. I don't think I'm going to have her. Oh, she can play goal attack in a pinch, can't she? If we decided to, well, um, to move her out. Yeah, I'll leave yeah. you. I'll leave you to your thinking just for the moment, so we can explain to everyone what's happening. Yes. Now. So we've had our seven rounds, and the teams have been selected. But we are now allowing an eighth round, which will be for each of our uh, guests here to select uh, a bench player. And don't forget, Suncorp Super Netball, moving forward, rolling subs are in existence. This could be an absolute critical, critical decision. So 
for you, Liz Ellis, the beauty is you get the very next pick as we work backwards. So let's head into our final round of the Suncorp Super Netball Fantasy Netball Draft. And we're going into round eight. It is pick 29, Liz Ellis, your eighth player. My eighth player is someone who no one has mentioned. I She missed a lot of the, last, of the first half of last season with injury, but she's my eighth player because she's so versatile, right? She can play in the midcourt. My midcourt is a bit defensive. If that doesn't work, I can shift Jamie Lee Price back. I can put Lizzie Watson in the centre. I've got a, this player can play wing attack. She can also play goal attack in a pinch. She's from the Swifts. <laughs> She's the English Rose. Nat Hazel's played. Guys, oh, eat, eat my dad. Well done. My oh, I was trying to convince you to go with Garvin. It wasn't yeah, from, not, I mean, wasn't from a I, nice place. <laughs> I might look stupid, but I'm not stupid. Well, big Is that Harper? Harper thinks it's a good choice. No, uh -huh. I, I just scared her when I said that, that big grunt just then, so apologies. So i got a question for Liz. What happens if uh, Twaities or Gretz goes down with an injury? Oh, well, then you just put Nat Haythorn Thwaite in at goal attack. And and who like if it's if it's if it's Twaity that goes down, you put Gretel in it in a goal shooter. Oh, just push him yeah, happy very, Jan. Yeah, very versatile selection in mm, your eight one. play there, and certainly probably one of the keys to the Swiss success uh, in 2019. So well done, Lizzie Legs Ellis. We're going to move now to Laura Geintz for pick number 30 of round eight. Who is it, Laura? Well, I'm along the same lines, and you know we. We've seen a lot of her. She's she's an older older player, seasoned campaigner. I'm going to call her, um, but I think she'll slot very nicely into my lineup. And that is the Australian English Rose, Chelsea Pittman. Oh yes, good call. Oh, yeah, good one. Yes, can play goal up attack there. as well. Wow, <laughs> Chelsea Pittman. So only two selections left. It'll be Kath Cox at selection 31, and then the draft will be finished with Sharni's. 32nd pick of the draft. Coxie, I am intrigued. Oh, there's two that I am torn between. Do I want back up in my mid-court defence or do I want back up in my mid-court shooting end? What to do, what to do. You're gonna do go I go with experience so or go with you? Oh. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to go to a shooter. I'm going yes. to an experienced <laughs> shooter who in, later on in her career got a little bit of a run out the front and is known as one of the best playmakers in the game from the Magpies. And oh. that is Matt Medhurst. Oh. Oh. oh! Have you gotten two for the price of one? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have. Natalie Medhurst, due, when is she due, girls? So, um, three months still. I don't know. She keeps posting photos of her I'm... baby bump that's like looks like a pea. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's, that's a big selection from you for Coxie's Crushes, Nat Medhurst, rounding out your team. So the final selection, Sharni Layton, the Slayers could be made or broken here. Who is it? Pick 32. Well, that's a bit aggressive, Sue. You know, I don't, <laughs> I don't think my eighth play is going to ruin the seven I've already got on court. But I appreciate the dramaticness that you my team. <laughs> but, sorry, I've lost it. But before I go, I just want to... <laughs> oh, I want to ask, you know, because there's been a bit of trade talk going on. Laura Geitz, I was just wondering... What if I subbed my whole seven for Laura Langman? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just going to... Oh, mate, that's not even like... That is actually not even a bit. Talk, come back to me oh, when you've actually got me, you know, something worthwhile no. to offer. Five million dollars, maybe. I thought um, you were just okay. going to say... I thought you were actually just going to say, Guidesy, can we just switch teams? Because oh, you're so no, impressed no. with my lineup. No, I'm, I'm backing my team and I'm very happy with my team. And once again, I think I've gone a bit left field because I'm strange anyway. Uh, so my eighth <laughs> player is someone who started out the year last year, but then got injured. But I think she's going to come back and have an absolute cracker. She left the team that she was in, of course, Unlike Coxie, I've decided to go defensive just because I feel like Ash Fraser is going to be coming back into the mix, but she is coming off an ACL. 
Uh, so I'm going to put someone in that can play that wing defence and goal defence position. She's just moved back to the Melbourne Vixens and I'm going to pick Kate Eddy. Oh, good call. Oh, yeah, good one, Chance. Mm. So one. solid team player, really aggressive, can drive the ball down the court, can probably chuck her in goal shooter if I need. Uh, we'll see how we go. Has nice hair. Has a good tan yeah. game, more importantly. Yeah. You, yeah, absolutely. On point. Better than I ever did. You've been Gordy's team straight up. Hey, uh, terrific stuff, everyone. There you go. That's the draft done and dusted. Our four celebrity coaches have selected their Suncourt Super Nipple fantasy draft team for season 2020. Most importantly, we need to recap and have a look where they all sit before I get to bag one of them for such poor selection. So let's take a look straight up at Shani's Slayers. In at goal shooter, Sam Wallace. Goal Maybe. attack, Tegan Phillip. Wing attack, Laura Sherian. In the centre, Paige Hadley. At wing defence, Ash Brazzle. Goal defence, Jodie Ann Ward. At goalkeeper, Shamira Sterling. And her last pick of the day today, on the bench, Kate Eddy. My goodness, Shani's Slayers. Shani Slayers, what a team. As you can see, it was really nutted out properly here on my notepad. Um, and it was, a, you know, a very tactical kind of selection that I had going on. The moving goal circle, Laura Sherian that can also like slot into that centre play, centre play if we need. Paige Hadley, Ash Braz, you know, and that uh, Jamaican goal circle is just going to be, no one's going to be able to get through that. And you know what, Copsy, you can have Janelle Fowler because how many premierships has she won, mate? How many? She didn't have the right team out the front of her. I built it. And they will come. All right. Well, they will come, Kath, because let's take a look at Coxie's crushes. You've gone with the goal shooter, superstar, and Janelle Fowler. At goal attack, the English international, Helen Housby. Wing attack, Maddie Proud, back off injury. Centre, Kate Maloney from the Vixens. Wing defence, Gabby Simpson. Goal defence, Maddie Turner, teaming up with goalkeeper, Courtney Bruce. And your bench player, Nat Medhurst. That's Coxie's crushes. I mean, come on. I actually really want this not to be fantasy. I want to play this team. How cool would that be? There's, Do you I'm know what, Coxie? I think you've asked a really good team, especially with your defensive line. I have too, thank you very much. And as much as I <laughs> thought I was literally going to pick the top whatever players from this and that points last year, I put a bit of tactics in it, which surprised even myself. Got a few Swifties in there. The attack line is good. I've got some attacking players that are good defensively, defensive players that are good attackingly. I am wrapped. Yeah. And attacking league. There's a new word for the day. <laughs> Bought to you, <laughs> fellas. All right, let's move on. Geitzy's grunters. This was looking good during episode one and episode two. How does it pan out now that the full team's been selected? In at goal shooter, you've gone with Giants, Joe Hart, and at goal attack from the Lightning, Steph Wood. Returning and probably going to be bigger than ever, wing attack, Maddie Brown. In the centre, she's the machine, Laura Langman. At wing defence, you struck us all here. It's Layla Guskoff from the Adelaide Thunderbirds. At goal defence, she'll use the line with Carla Pretorius. In at goalkeeper, Sarah Clough. And on the bench from the Adelaide Thunderbirds, the captain, Chelsea Pittman. So, before we started this, Gordy, you mentioned that the bench player can actually be the winning formula to the team. And I reckon, whilst very disappointing, just to go back, on the Amy Parmenter subject again. <laughs> I'm very grateful that that may have happened because now I look at my team and I think, you know what? Pittman can slot in. I can shuffle. If Gus Goth, you know, takes a little while, you know, as that green player in wing defence to earn her stripes there, then I can easily slot Langman back into the wing defence. All I've, of a sudden, I've got a fantastic defensive line up there. Pittman can either go into centre, she can go wing, wing attack, or she can go into goals. For me, that one player has given me versatility to shift my superstars into other positions on court that they can absolutely be blinding at. So I must say, I know I was showing really positive signs early on, Gordy. You lost faith in me a little bit there towards the end. But like Coxie, I just want to get this team out on the, um, out on the floorboards. Yeah, it's an impressive team. And I agree with you. The Grunters are looking very, very good. That brings us now down to Lizzie's lockdown legends. Uh, Lizzie, you really debated over your goal shooter. You eventually went with the Vixens' Caitlin Thwaites. She teams up 
with Gretel Buetta from, is it Buetta again? Can I just get that confirmed? Buetta. Buetta. With your maracas. Get your maracas. maracas out. Buetta. Buetta. Gretel, Buetta. for those of you that haven't quite caught up in a goal attack, Lizzie Watson lines up for you at wing attack. Jamie Lee Price moves into the centre. Amy Parmenta, who broke hearts up in Queensland, moves to wing defence. At goal defence, it's Joe Weston. In at goalkeeper, Jeeva Mentor. And on the bench, one of the best selections, in my opinion, and that is Nat Hathorn-Thwaite. That's a big team, Liz Alice. Oh, I'm so happy with my team. And like all the other coaches, I'd love to get my team out now. And I'll tell you why, why my team, why the Lizzie's lockdown legends would go well. Because if you played now, I'd be the only team without an injury, without having someone returning from injury or without someone who uh, has only just returned from injury. So if you look at Shani's team, there's Braz. Hopefully she comes back well from injury, but we haven't seen her yet. For Kath, she's got Maddie Proud. Uh, she's also got Nat Medhurst. We haven't seen how she's going to... We don't know how she's going to come back um, after she has her baby. Geitze, she's got a great team, but she's taken a gamble with, with Maddie Brown coming back from injury. If you look at the Lizzie's lockdown legends, not a single player has an injury cloud over them. Now, I know, Gordy, that you mentioned that uh, Jeeva Mentor, she'd have to stay free of injury, but so far, so good. We're looking fit. I, I agree there. I agree, Liz. I just, my only concern with your girls is there's a couple that might be just getting a bit long in the tooth. Oh, look, given that I played till I was way too long in the tooth, I have so much faith in the old ducks. And you know what, Liz, it would be really important if that was an actual factor in Suncorp Super Netball fantasy draft injuries, but it's not, my friends. Exactly. So thanks, for, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for justifying your team. Oh, come on. Really matter. <laughs> Give your fantasy injury if you're not careful, Gordy. Oh. <laughs> so there you go, folks. There's the teams. Coxie, I want to come to you. Do you reckon there's a player still left in the Suncourt Super Netball uh, list that possibly should have been selected and didn't? Well, Jess Anstis was the one of my utilities that I was really wondering whether I should pick up or not. But Emily Mannix is still floating around as well. Yes. That's crazy. Yeah. And we've got Seabass. And who would Aiken? you have to who would you East Yes, so let's let's just quickly ask that. I'll go to you, Laura Geitz. Who's the captain of your team? Oh, uh, Laura Langman. Catherine Cox. Matty Proud. Lizzie. Uh, I think Jeeva Mentor. And what about you, um, Black Cat? So me and Pebo, we've had a good chat about it. And uh, <laughs> we're going to go, what do you reckon? I think Ash Braz is going to be our captain. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. This is going to be your puppet show as well. <laughs> um, all right. So there you go. The teams have been selected. I'm just going to give each of you one last moment here. If you could draft one player from another side, Geitzy. Oh, right. Um, or are you content? Oh, oh. Bar mentor. I, I was wondering why that took you so long. You've only done nothing to whinge about it. I know, that's oh why I went straight to it. What about you, Catherine Cox? Oh, I'd probably have to go Langman. Right? Yes. Lizzie? Yeah, look, I would probably go with um, Shamira Sterling. She's such Ooh. a good war winner. What about you, Shani? Yeah, look, I would have loved uh, Steph Wood in, in, a, in a my goal attack position. Is Steph Wood. Yeah, Steph Wood. I'm yeah. still hurting <laughs> about that one. You know, I've tried to replace her. Tegan, nothing against you. I love you. That's why I picked you in my team. But, uh, you know, hard when there's two rangers out there. Well, that's true. So there you go. Well, you could have had Maddie McCauley's. I did. She was my backup to Kate Eddy. She was, was your backup rang. She was my backup to my backup. <laughs> Oh, dear. Well, it's been heaps of fun, hasn't it? Thanks, girls. You've done a terrific job. Your banter's been great. You've actually taken this way more seriously than we expected. So that's pretty good. If only you were getting paid and being put under pressure to do the job, I'd love to see how that all pans out. Uh, for everybody out there, if you're interested, make sure you get on to at Nine Netball on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And we want to know what you think. And maybe you too can start to shape some of your own teams. Do the same thing at home with all your friends. As you can see, it's a lot of fun, particularly with these four turkeys that I've had the opportunity to hang out with today. <laughs> uh, well, what we hope is that Suncorp Super Netball will be back before the season ends and that way you'll get to see all of these players playing for their respective super netball teams. Fingers crossed that everyone does the right thing around the country and that we beat this COVID experience and get back to the game sooner than later. But say goodbye everyone.
Bye.